Hi everyone! Today I'm going to be showing you what is in my bathroom cabinet. I moved to New York over the summer and now that I live here full time, I really truly have to transition my beauty products because the weather changes, my skin has already been getting very dry and so I really have to take steps to prep my skin, my hair, my body for what's to come in the winter. I'm going to show you how I'm organizing my beauty cabinet and I'm going to go over every single thing inside. So I hope you're ready because there is a lot to cover. Before I get into my cabinet, Let's just acknowledge that this is what I really look like doing this because let's be honest, I'm not going to be wearing a chic cashmere sweater while organizing my bathroom. While we're here, I might as well just show you the rest of my outfit because there's a lot of good stuff happening here. Orthopedic slippers, junk food, pajama pants. This is an outfit that says, I'm ready to get to work. All right, so here is my current bathroom cabinet. This is what it looks like right now. Nothing is really organized. It's all just kind of all over the place. When I first moved in, this was pretty organized, but then it just kind of turned into what it is now. I'm going to organize all of this and then add in some things that I'm gonna be using for the fall and winter. I'm gonna start at the bottom and over here I have my cleansers. So this is my favorite makeup remover right now. It is from a brand called July and it's the Super 12 Bounce Cleansing Oil. So this looks like a regular cleansing oil but I love how thin it is. It's really light and it instantly dissolves all of my makeup and I have to say it might be the best cleansing oil I've ever used and I have used so many and I'm really, really picky about them. Then I have the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser. I've noticed that I like this in the colder months as a very gentle cleanser, especially when I'm using exfoliating products. Speaking of exfoliation, I have the Tatcha Polished Classic Rice Enzyme Powder. This stuff is incredible. It has transformed my skin. This is an enzymatic exfoliator. It's super gentle and it leaves my skin feeling really clean clean and smooth. Another thing that I've been loving from July is the Super 12 Bounce Essence Oil Toner. So this is a toner unlike anything I've ever used before. I'm actually going to open this so you guys can see what it looks like. You can see that there are these little blue beads and these beads are filled with oil. So when you apply this on your skin, you pat it in like this and it's super hydrating and those little beads break and the oil releases onto your skin. This is just the loveliest, most hydrating toner. Then I have the Fresh Vitamin Nectar Glow Water. I actually also have one of these in my fridge because I love how it feels when it's cold, but I love spraying this on my face when I just need some extra hydration or a little refreshment. In this corner, I have my two body products. So I'm almost finished with these Soap and Glory Righteous Body Butter. And then I have the Jo Malone Peony and Blush Suede Body and Hand Lotion. If you've followed me for a while, then you know this is my scent. So I use this when I want something that's lighter in consistency, because I don't actually like wearing this one during the day, because it's a little sticky when I put it on. Moving up to the next level, I have all of my oils and serums here, and then moisturizers and creams. In the front, I have the Dr. Barbara Sturm Hyaluronic Serum, and this is actually a little free sample that I received over the summer. And I've been really using this sparingly because I love it so much and it is so incredibly hydrating but I looked up the full size and it cost $300. This is the best hyaluronic serum I've ever used and I've used quite a bit and I'm just never impressed with them. This is the Bare Minerals Eternal Elixir Skin Volumizing Oil Serum. It is one of my all-time favorite products. And you can see how the oil sits at the top and then the serum's at the bottom. So when you use this, you shake it and it all mixes together. It's very hydrating, but it's not 
really heavy on the skin. It also leaves the most beautiful natural looking glow on your skin as well. Then I have the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate, which I've talked about so much because I've been using it for like eight or nine years now. I use it when my skin feels tired and dull and it is just one of the best night oils. Another thing I've talked about quite a bit is the Glossier Super Pure Serum. I use this pretty much every day. This just helps keep my skin clear. This is the Murad Multivitamin Infusion Oil and I use this when I just feel like my skin needs a little bit of everything because it literally has a little bit of everything in it. Something newer that I've been using is the Laura Mercier Flawless Skin Nourishing Oil and this is definitely a thicker oil. It smells like rose but I do like this. I just use a tiny bit though and I find that it absorbs into my skin pretty quickly. This is something that I've been using at night and it's also very reflective so hello. It is from Private Doctor and it is the Define Minus Serum. I've never used a product like this one. It's a really light fast absorbing serum and it's made to create definition which I think is really interesting and I typically don't reach for things like this but I love how this feels. It actually has a tingly feeling when you put it on. I actually love how hydrating this feels on my skin. And this was formulated with Glow Recipe and the Top Skin Doctor in South Korea. So this is a really cool product. I'm actually finishing this up so I can move into the Kate Somerville Goat Milk Moisturizing Cream. This is very light, but I find that it's more hydrating than the Nourish. Over here, I have the Clinique Dramatic different moisturizing lotion plus this is one of the first really 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 good moisturizers I ever used and I'll be switching between these two mostly for daytime for night I got this Chantecai flower harmonizing cream and I've been wanting this for over a year so I finally bought it I haven't used it yet but I'm really excited to try it out it smells incredible then over here I'm gonna pull these guys out because I feel like I'm just stressed stretching really far into the corner and it's an awkward position. So this is the Bobbi Brown Extra Eye Repair Cream. I've been using this for a really long time. I just keep going back to this eye cream. It's probably my all-time favorite. Something else I've been using is the Peach and Lily Lazy Day All-in-One Moisture Pads. So this is what the pad looks like. And I will say that these pads are very moisturizing, but I would not use them as a replacement for moisturizer. I'd say these are great for right after you wash your face and before moisturizer. So if you don't feel like putting on a serum and an essence and a toner and all of that, these are really awesome. Also for just like a pick me up during the day. Moving up to this level, I have all of my masks and special treatments. So right here I have these Peace Out Pour blackhead strips and these are like the little acne dots that I love from Peach and Lily, but they're for your nose. They suck out all the blackheads, it's amazing, and it doesn't hurt, and you can wear these overnight. This is one of my favorite masks because it's like a five minute facial, and by the time you see this video, I'm gonna be in Paris, and I will have this mask with me because I love putting it in the fridge when I get to my hotel. This is something new that I just recently bought from Space NK. It's the By Terry Cellular Rose mask. I read reviews on this and I'm excited to try this because it seems like it's really hydrating and also What is going on Tato? Oh dear. Turns out it was my girlfriend Erica at the door That's why Tato was barking. Also, I got partially ready. I'm still in this but I did this because I had to charge my camera battery so you're just getting the real deal here. Okay, so back to this. Apparently it's really hydrating and you can also use this in your eye area. And I might experiment with it in the fridge as well. Then I have the Laura Mercier Flawless Skin Infusion de Rose Purifying Clay Mask. I haven't used that yet, but I thought it would be interesting to try. This is the Glossier Zit Stick. This is a pretty standard benzoyl peroxide treatment. I bought it because I ran out of my Glytone treatment. It has the exact same percentage of benzoyl peroxide as the Glytone, which is 5%. This is a super tiny amount of product, so that is not the best. I really don't like how the product comes out. I just find all of it to just 
be kind of mediocre, especially because there are plenty of other 5% benzoyl peroxide treatments out there. The one good thing about this is that it is easy to travel with, but that's about it. Otherwise, it literally works exactly the same as every other benzoyl peroxide treatment I've used. I love the Drunk Elephant TLC Sukari Baby Facial. Over here, I have my heavy duty clarifying masks. I love the Origins Clear Improvement Mask. I'm almost finished with this. And then this is another version of the Clear Improvement Mask, which is a little bit more hydrating. So I'm gonna switch over to that once I finish this one. And then of course, gotta have the fresh Umbrian clay because this stuff will pull everything out of your skin. Moving up to the next shelf, I have my deodorant. This is the Milk and Honey Baking Soda Free Lavender and Tea Tree Deodorant. I have the Tatcha Sunscreen, which is one of my all-time favorites. Grande Brow is my brow serum. This is a brand new tube of it. This will be my second year using this serum and I really like it. This has been especially helpful with growing out the ends of my eyebrows. This is the Kiehl's Glow formula skin hydrator. I love how hydrating this is. I've used it all over my face with my foundation, without my foundation. I've mixed it in with my foundation. I've also just used this as a highlighter and I love it in all of the different ways. Moving into hair products, this is the Briogeo Scalp Revival Scalp Treatment. I discovered this last year when I was really struggling with scalp irritation and dandruff and so many people recommended Briogeo to me and I got these drops and they are seriously a miracle in a bottle and I've been proactive about my scalp care this year so I'm using these drops before winter hits and I feel like it's really gonna help. Another thing from Briogeo is the Blossom and Bloom volumizing spray, love this stuff. Then I have the Aura Bay Matte Waves Texture Lotion. I've only used this once because I just bought it and so far I don't think I love it, but I think I have to use it more. I think I need to figure out how I like using this. This is another Eileen Everyday recommendation. It's an intensive hair oil and when we went upstate together recently, I used her hair oil just kind of on a whim and oh my gosh, this stuff is incredible. I like using it for my little flyaway hairs, especially near my roots, my little baby hairs which honestly are like teenage hairs now because they're quite long and it just really helps to smooth my hair and I love how it feels. Then up here, I don't have anything except a little toiletries bag. I use this bag when I stay at Erica's place. Before I go, I wanna show you some things that I have on the counter because these bottles are too tall to fit in the bathroom cabinet. I also have this Drunk Elephant Juju Facial Bar, which I love for exfoliation. You can also use it as a lip scrub. Obviously. I have my simple micellar water. This is the Glow Recipe Blueberry Bounce Gentle Cleanser. This is in the new packaging. It used to come in a tube, but now it is in this pump, which I really like. And then I have my Tatcha Essence, and you can see that I'm almost finished with that. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe because guess what? Holiday videos start next Friday, and I'm starting off with my annual hot chocolate recipe. Also, I will be vlogging this holiday season, and I'm going to be putting my own spin on Vlogmas. So instead of posting a vlog every single day, I'm going to be posting three weekly vlogs, and those will start the first Tuesday in December. So in December, I'm going to be posting two videos a week. I'm excited about this Vlogmas twist because I will be able to share what I'm doing with you guys, but at the same time, I'll also be able to be present in the holiday season and enjoy it with people that I love and one specific little fluffy furball who I believe is under the bed right now actually. That's like his new thing, hiding under this bed. That is going to be it for today. I hope you all are having a wonderful day, and I will see you very soon. Bye. There you are. What are you doing under there? Come on. Look who it is. Hi, Tato.